What's going on YouTube, Geosno right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to edit PDF files on your Mac with a program called PDF Element 7. And this one is actually a very good alternative to the Adobe Acrobat kind of programs and of course it's much much cheaper. So you're able to do a lot of editing to the PDF files and of course you're able to add pages and stuff like that. We're going to get into that in a minute but the program is available in here on the Wondershare website with a free trial available. So it's available both as a file if you want to install it yourself or it's directly available in the macOS app store. So basically the program looks like this once you install it from the app store or once you install it yourself. It has a pretty simple to use interface and here on the right you can see a recent list of your files. So I'm going to open this one in here. You can either drag and drop or select the open file or choose one from the list and you can see that I have my paper in here about the x86 Intel assembly for reverse engineering which I have written and it's now in PDF format. So it's the file in here. It's a PDF file. There are ways to open it on a Mac. For example using the built-in photo viewer but you cannot edit it on a Mac without a specialized program. And this one in here does exactly that. So this is the view of the file if you want to see it. And of course, if you want to read it, you have the plus and minus buttons in here to, you know, make it bigger. You can, of course, enlarge it quite a lot until you actually get it too big. So it's very easy to actually enhance the picture in here if you do need those accessibility tools. And you can also organize the pages very easily. You press in there. And as you can see, these are all the pages. And of course, you can either edit pages or add pages and stuff like that. So if I want to add, for example, an empty page after the fifth page in here, you can either insert from a file. So if you want to combine two different PDF files, you can do so. Or you can insert a blank page like this. There we go. And we inserted a new page, which is normally not possible without a very expensive program that handles PDF files. Now, if you want to rotate pages, for example, for some reason, you can do so like this. Or you can even select all of them here, or you can do Control A to select everything in the uh, document if there are many pages and you can rotate all of them like this if you want to rotate a document. Now you can also zoom in to see the bigger previews of the pages and stuff like that. Now this is for the page organization that you find in here. You can also see the thumbnails of the uh, pages as you scroll through them. And as you can see the graphics look beautiful in here on the document. And here on the left side you have the actual editing tools. So let me actually make this a little bit smaller. And what I would like to do is to add an image. At the time I wrote this document I didn't add an image in here. Though I do believe that it should actually serve it better. So if I want to add an image now, I press here on the image. Now I can press this button in here, select the image from my screen. So it's basically this one that I prepared earlier with a CPU. I press in here and as you can see, now the image is available and I can drag it and drop it anywhere I want. Now I want to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to press in here and drag like this and I want to center it. So as you can see, you do have the guideline for centering. So right now I know this is at the center. I do have the width and the height in here as well. I can even construct in the proportions and of course if you want to rotate it you can do so and of course if you want to replace it you can do so or crop it or extract it and stuff like that so right now I have the image in place it already looks a little bit better having the image in there but let's say I want to add at the end of the document a link to my website which I forgot to do in this document well I can simply go here to link and I can press the globe in here which would add a link pressing here Pressing here and drag, and I will be able to open a web page. So I'm going to say HTTPS IFC365.info, which is my website, and press save in here, and there we go. So now this is going to be a link available in here for people to be able to click. Now let's say that I want to add the form to this. Now forms are a very important thing for the PDF files. PDF documents in general are actually very sophisticated. You can have forms, you can have images. They actually stay the same no matter what program you use to view them, unlike Word documents or pages documents which tend to shift their font or their location and stuff like that depending on the version of the program you're using to view them. The PDF files don't have this problem. If it looks like this on my computer the same PDF file will look like this on your computer. So this is actually an advantage of the PDF files. They're very good for print because you know that it won't change the way it looks depending on what program you use to view them. But another thing that they have is the fact that you can add forms to them, you know actual forms. And using PDF element 7 it's actually quite easy to create forms. You press here on the form and of course you have multiple types of uh, fields that you can add for example a text field which I'm going to add in here and you can uh, resize it I'm going to rename it so you can see here you can give it a name and in this case I'm going to say name the tooltip can be anything so I'm going to say write your name here it's visible and it's required 
you can even lock it if you want to but in this case it's actually required so this is for name now let's add another one for example I want to add the reason for contacting me because this is going to be a contact form directly into my document so it says drop down one in here we want to change that so we go here and we're going to say reason for contacting me okay and we can add multiple items in here to the list for example we're going to add buying the book if somebody is interested in the book we're going to say one in here and we add it to the list or general questions and we're going to add a value two. so there you go you can sort them if you want to or you can even allow the user to enter their own custom text which I'm going to allow to do alright so this is going to be the reason for contacting now I just want to add a button like this and I'm going to give it a name too for example send the tooltip would be send the form now if you want to add a digital signature for example you can add it in here you can make the document to be signed so sign here window we're going to do that before having the button so like this and I'm going to make it the same size and there you go have a very easy form in there let's preview it and as you can see somebody can write their name let's say Dave in here uh, they can choose whatever they want from here for example buying the book they can sign they can actually use a certificate if they want to I'm not going to and of course they can press the button which I forgot to give it a text so let's do that we're going to go in here and say send the form and if you preview right now you can see that the uh, options do work and there is a button which of course you can program to do something to post to something or whatever so this is how easy you can create forms using PDF element 7 but what if you want to actually handle things much less complicated than this for example markup you want to highlight text for example well you can definitely do so if you want to add a sticky note for example we can add one in here we can even have colors and I can put one in here like this and say do not forget to check out the references and of course if you press in here you will be able to see what it contains and of course you can add shapes like an oval if I want to if you want for example to do something like this you can do so as you can see from there and of course you can erase you can uh, actually underline text for example I want to underline with the color let's say red and I want to underline reverse engineering in here and there you go and I want to also underline hex dumps in here now there are also the stamps in here for example confidential witness initial here sign here and revised and reviewed and stuff like that you have the signature if you want to sign uh, rectangles lines arrows then of course course here on the text you can add text if you want to let's go back in here where we have the uh, form and I'm going to create some text so I'm going to say in here please fill the form below to contact the author and I can actually move this one perfectly like here and it would be pretty easy for me to you know give instructions or even add a new page of text if I need that so you can see here now the form looks okay you can even make it to be like the full page so something like this if you want to and we can make the signature be here like this and the button of course like this so now the form is basically full page so I have please fill the form below to contact the author you have the general questions the signing and of course the button to send the form now it also also contains a lot of tools for example OCR text recognition adding or editing the background watermarking cropping pages PDF converter and of course you can even do this in batch so if I want for example to remove a page from this document I can go here to organize pages and let's say that I want to remove the page that I just created let's say I don't want it anymore so I press the delete pages in here and that's it so it's as simple as that as you can see from here now there are multiple ways you can actually mark up and edit text in here there are the highlighters for example you can choose a color let's say this one here and I can highlight entire portions of the document and I can even use different colors for different parts of the document let's say RAM footprint in here and let's say I want another color like purple you can even choose another one if you want to let's say CPU architecture in here and ARM v7 CPU so as you can see you can do various modifications and highlight and stuff like that and even add various stamps like this and I'm going to move it in here and uh, of course you can even add some callouts so a callout would be like this and I'm going to add it to the engineering in here and let's say for beginners and we added that in there so as you can see that's the document now we can simply save it as 
a new PDF file and we press save and there we go. It only took a couple of seconds and there we go. And that's it. And now if you open it, let's say we open it again in here, you can see it contains all the things that I added, including this in here, which is basically the sticky note that I can also change in color and stuff like that. It contains every single thing that I added and all the pages that I removed stay removed and stuff like that. So that's basically it. A very, very good PDF editor for your Mac. It's available here on the PDF element website at pdf.wondershare.com. Link will be in the description down below be sure to check it out it's actually quite good and much much cheaper than the adobe so definitely check it out thank you for watching i am geosnow till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out